team Fletcher Bithell, new challenges, new sales, new management, new sponsors, above all, new teammates. So we teamed up in October and we um, first thing we did was went to Japan and checked out the conditions in Enoshima and seeing what we're going to be dealing with hopefully in four years time. Um, it was quite cool out there, you know, a bit different to, what, to Rio, what we're used to, but it was great to get an opportunity to see what it was like and set us up for the cycle. Out here in Cadiz, uh, these last three camps, the winter training, our first winter training, uh, it's been a great opportunity with the whole of the British sailing team here, support staff and everyone, uh, and to really put our foundations in place, uh, get the people involved who want involved in our campaign, and you know it's just been a really good time to, to start the four-year process, you know, on the right foot, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just really really exciting to to be doing it again with. Uh, all fresh ideas and, and, and fresh team and with lots of experience in that team. And so it was a good opportunity to start the 2020 cycle off with a World Cup in Miami. And uh, you know, it's nice to get out to Miami in January. It's nice to leave the cold, dark depths of the UK and check out some winter sun and some high quality racing and uh, I guess we didn't really know what to expect from ourselves you know we knew we had performed individually with our other teammates in the past but um, it was a standout regatta for us you know lots to learn and lots to move forward on but to come out winning the regatta with a day to spare is something that you know neither of us done and it's ultimately what we're looking to do.